Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial of our software testing bootcamp where we are learning about the fundamental concepts of software testing. We are in chapter five talking about the test management and moving on to the next segment of this chapter which is 5.2, roles and responsibilities in testing. And today we'll be talking about the role distribution between a manager and a tester. In order to talk about these responsibilities, uh, generally there are different responsibilities at per the organization level. And before we to start talking about how exactly these responsibilities are distributed among a test engineer and test manager, let me also make you clear with few other things which you will experience in the real time. When you join an organization, no matter which organization in the world, you would find different designation. For example, a journey of a test engineer could begin with an intern turning into associate engineer, then being called as a lead engineer, then senior engineer, technical lead, senior technical lead, and maybe a manager, right? Now the point is, there are a lot of things in reality at the test manager responsibility is being done by the senior engineers as well. For example, to a certain extent, people may say that, you know, we are not test managers in the organization, but there are a lot of things which are written here is done by us, though we are a senior engineer, but not a manager. Now, the point is, uh, there are some global standardization which we are trying to elaborate here that, hey, given that when you talk about organization-wide practice or worldwide organization-level practices, uh, at a professional level, there's just two different roles in the testing organization. One is a manager who makes necessary decisions, decides on certain things, selects the various processes, protocols, set of documentation, and a lot many other things. And there's another person or another role, which is pretty much tester and called as performing all the necessary ground level work. Now, this could be distributed in an organization right? And certainly a manager would be more experienced having the rights of making decisions, having the control over uh, taking necessary uh, deviations when uh, some kind of, you know, observations are made. But a test engineer responsibilities could be distributed among different designation, like some of them will go to associate engineer, some of them would go to junior test engineer or senior test engineer or lead engineer. So, we are not talking about the designations. We are talking about in our world of testing, there are two standard roles, test engineer and test manager. A manager are here. So let's have a look on the responsibilities and try understanding the same. So the task of the test manager is more at the management level. Of course, uh, you would see here a lot of common words like planning, initiating, preparing, you know, selecting, deciding, and sort of thing. Let's have a look what exactly is talking about. Now, the first responsibility of the test manager, whosoever it is, develop or review a test policy and a strategy for the organization level, doing the test planning for the entire test process, coordinate the plan with the project managers because all your plan should be in line with the project plan and they will be coordinated with our other stakeholders who might be interested in being aware of how your test plan will continue and how it will be progressing thereafter. Also sharing testing perspective with other project activities, which means that how to coordinate our development activity with those of the testing activity or how to align our uh, early testing within the life cycle, a lot many other things like that. Also initiating any particular phase of the entire test process will be responsibility of a manager. Preparing and delivering the reports, including the progress report and the summary report, we will be talking about them in our coming tutorials. But yes, these reports will be prepared by the manager. Support setting up the tools and the required infrastructure. Again, support. The test manager is not responsible for configuring a tool, but they will be selecting a tool, letting the team know that what exactly needs to be done. And the team, that is test engineering team, will do the job. Now, introducing suitable matrices for monitoring and control for the entire process and any such activity which may happen during the entire life cycle. Uh, support the selection on implementation of various other tools required for the test process. Decide about the implementation of the environment. Again, decide. The manager does not implement an environment. 
It will be done by the test engineer, whereas deciding that what environment would be required to run these tests would be the responsibility of the manager. And finally, talking about the development of the test engineers and their skill set will be also an all uh, responsibility of the manager just to make sure that you know organizing trainings conducting workshops or any sort of sessions which help your test engineers grow up with better skill set and ramping up them with more technological traits would also be a responsibility of the manager itself on the other hand, comparing the responsibility of the test engineers with that of the tester, and here we are looking forward to understand that how exactly a test engineer would be contributing to the overall process. Again, these role can be distributed among the senior test engineer, lead engineer, associate engineer, right? So don't be contradicting there. It's just that there is a standard role called as tester, but in the organization level, it could be different at any point of time. So here the tester can review and contribute to the test plan which test manager is creating and support the test manager with better visibility to several other activities. Now, analyzing the requirements is the responsibility of the tester, identifying the necessary test conditions, capturing traceability between them, all that will also be a responsibility of the test engineer. Design, set up, and verify the environment. Again, deciding the needed environment will be done by the manager, whereas designing, setting it up, and verifying if it is ready is test engineer responsibility. Design and implement the test cases and procedures. Prepare and acquire the test data. Create the detailed test execution schedule, which is the final order of execution based on several dependencies and sequencing of various tests. Executing the test is the responsibility of the test engineer using the appropriate tool. So manager will decide what tools we will use in our project and test engineers will make use of them. Also automating is no different from a test engineer. All the automation part will also be taken care of by the test engineer. In fact, all the non-functional testing also performed by the test engineers itself. It does not mean that is just because non-functionals are more complex will be done by the manager. No, a manager does not do any kind of ground level executions, but test engineers will. And they will be different from each other, that's different. But the point is, yes, there are specialized testers, not test managers to perform non-functional testing too. Also review tests developed by each other, and uh, that would be another key responsibility which each tester will have. So the point here is, uh, who is a tester, again, a lot of organization prefers to call them as QA engineer, test engineer, software engineer in test, and these days you are being called as software development engineer in test. So point is, the designation would be different in different organizations, but you're all testers as far as you're performing these activities, right? So it's other way around, depending on the set of activities which you're performing today, you are in that particular role. Right, so I think that's pretty much to explain to you how exactly the roles and responsibilities are distributed among these roles. And uh, we should be just having an idea and mindset that, okay, when I stepped into the organization, when I start working as a test engineer, I may experience these kind of roles, these kind of responsibilities, which I might be taking care of, or maybe uh, someone else like you know, one of your colleagues would be interested or kind of, you know, given the responsibility of doing the same, right? So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.